Hey guys, it's Natalie Domino. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you do not know who I am, I'm a Roman Catholic YouTuber and I do YouTube videos on all things Catholicism. So if you're Protestant, Catholic, or whoever you are, you're welcome here. Today I'm going to be discussing the problem with the content that especially Gen Z is consuming and how we are going to stop this culture crisis. So before I get into today's video, I want to make sure you guys follow me over on Instagram at Natalie underscore Demina for more Catholic content. Make sure you go listen to my podcast over on Spotify, Sign of Contradiction with Natalie Demina, where I post weekly episodes at Sunday at 8 a.m. for you guys. And make sure that you go sign up for my monthly newsletter over on my link tree in the description down below. I have been thinking about this topic recently about all of the different media outlets that we consume. We consume TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, books, movies, news, church politics. There's so much advertisements, everything that we consume during the day that thousands of years ago was not even possible to consume that much. And I think that we have lost a sense of sensitivity for certain subjects. I think we've losses of sacredness for different topics as well. There are many movies that we just go about. When we watch those movies, we aren't realizing that subconsciously there are so many themes that are being put into us, whether it be a theme about men versus women instead of their complementarity, or it's about desensitizing us to hurting others or gossiping or dressing immodestly. Whatever it may be, the content that we consume actually influences us as well as the music that we listen to actually influences us. Someone recently commented on my Taylor Swift video. Something that I thought was really profound is that Satan is a fallen seraphim and the seraphim were the angels that sang 24 seven to God. So the devil has a close relationship with music. So we need to really look at the music that we're listening to, research into what good music is and really just learn about that because that influences our lives in ways we don't even understand. St. Augustine said that singing is praying twice. So if singing has that much effect in a good way, imagine the effect it has in a bad sense. So really the music we listen to also matters. I think also with this scrolling that we do and I fall into this all the time and that's why I'm taking a break off of social media and you guys should as well because it actually is so helpful. I'm doing Every month I'm doing a weekly detox of social media, which I think is so good because I only got social media to start this ministry, which is crazy because with it doing so much good, there's also a lot of bad that comes from it for my personal mental health. So I am going to be taking a week off of social media. Videos will still be posted, but I'm not going to go on YouTube if that makes sense or Instagram. But anyway, that's a whole nother topic for another day. Scrolling on Instagram, TikTok, whatever YouTube shorts, whatever that you scroll on, we are seeing thousands of people, depending on how long that you look at social media, thousands of people a day that back then, even like 50 years ago, you wouldn't have seen that many people a day. So we're consuming just so much and falling into this comparison mindset that we would not even have had 50 years ago. Of course, God made us for community, but he did not make us to consume people as products and very transactional that social media does. And I'm not saying that social media is inherently evil. Obviously, that's why I'm on social media. There's other Catholic creators on social media because we want to use the platform for good. But there is a very negative and dark side of social media. Also, we're just consuming so many different opinions that we can't even decipher who we are as a human person. All we do is base ourselves off of different trends and aesthetics and what other people that we like to follow, what their beliefs and their religious systems are. I would really advise you all to check out the people that you're subscribed to, check to the people you're followed to or whatever, wherever you are, who you're just following and really just take a step back and be like, how is this person influencing my life? And really take the time to think about it and be like, is this a positive or negative influence that they are having on my life? Because everyone, every encounter that you have influences and shapes who you are. And you want that to be just the influence of our Lord and for you to hang out with saintly people and follow saintly people. But of course, if the people you're following aren't leading you to that, then you should want to cut it off. Our Lord says, and if your hand's causing you to sin, cut it off. Obviously, figurative way of, yeah, something that you're doing is causing you to sin, cut that sin out of your life. I think if you really look at the content that you consume, whether it be books that have inappropriate words or descriptions in it, or it's TV shows with inappropriate scenes, same thing, bad words, whatever in it, you need to really look at that and be like, how is this influencing my life? Because 
it does influence and I think if you just detox from it for a week and then if you even can do like 30 days you'll see that a change will start to happen. The more you become grounded in reality, the less anxiety you'll feel, the less you'll be comparing yourself to others. Just so many things will be freeing that I've noticed. But of course, it's so addicting. Then you just want to go back to it. And I, it's hard for me to balance, especially too, because I do have my ministry online. So of course, I just keep saying, well, I need to go back. I need to sc scroll on this reel, whatever. And you just make excuse after excuse. But really, we need to just stop making excuses and be like, yes, I'm going to go on here. I'm going to post for my ministry and then I'm going to be off. I think we also need to use our social medias for good. So if you are Catholic and you have social media, maybe post some Catholic things once in a while. Sometimes we're very hidden of like our true life on social media. But I think if we just show our true self on social media and just use social media for good and bringing people to Christ, then it will become a better environment maybe for us. I just wanted to make this video and let you guys know that what you're consuming, it matters. So take a look at it and read more good books so that you can understand maybe the reasoning behind why you should and shouldn't follow certain things. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you guys can like down below if you haven't already. And yeah, I love you all so much. St. Athanasius, pray for us. Have a blessed day, y'all.